together. Pupils Book 3, The Golden Globe, by Diana Webster and Anne Worrell. Published and copyright Longman Group UK Limited. Cassette 2, Side 1. Unit 8, The Golden Globe Magazine. Go, go, go! Your stars. What do you like? Read and see. Aries, you are always doing things. You are a good leader. Aries people are usually happy and they are often good at sport. Taurus, you love beautiful things. You like the country and you like eating. You're sometimes lazy, but you can work hard too. Taurus people are often good at music or woodwork. They are quiet, but if they get angry, look out. Gemini, you like people and people usually like you, too. You talk a lot. Gemini people are often writers or teachers. They like traveling. Cancer. You love your home and your family. Cancer people are often shy. They can write good stories or paint beautiful pictures. Leo. Leo means lion, and the lion is called the king of animals. So Leo people want to be leaders. They don't like boring work. They're sometimes lazy. Virgo. You love animals and flowers. You like helping people and listening to them. Virgo people are often quiet, and they like making things. Libra. You like people and beautiful things. Libra people can sometimes sing and play music well. But they can be good at maths, too. They like clothes and they dress well. People usually like them. Scorpio. Scorpio people are often shy and quiet, and they like secrets. They aren't afraid of things, and they can see the good and bad things in people. They are often good doctors. Sagittarius. You like traveling and meeting new people. You like adventures and learning new things. You always ask a lot of questions. Sagittarius people like having fun. They are often good at sports and walking. Capricorn. Capricorn people do things. They work hard and they are often good teachers. They are quiet and shy, but they are good at talking to people. Aquarius. You are a good friend. You like people and want to help them. Aquarius people are often scientists or inventors. They help people in the world. Pisces, you love music. People sometimes don't understand you. They think you're a dreamer. But Pisces people understand a lot of things. They often love the sea and the mountains. They are good writers and artists. Book. Unit 8, Exercise A. Listen and write. Look at the pictures and listen to six conversations. Where are the people? Write the numbers on the pictures. 1. I'm not very well. What's the matter? I've got earache and a temperature. Have you got a cough? No. Well, let's see. Two. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have a hamburger, please? Anything else? Yes. I'd like some chips. A big plate of chips and a Coke. Anything else? No, thanks. Three. Can I have two tickets to Cardiff, please? Single or return? Single. Child or adult? One child and one adult. 
That's £21.90, please. 4. Who's your partner, Sam? My partner's Jenny. Have you got your homework? Yes, Miss Scott, it's here. Mmm. That's very good, Sam. Well done. 5. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like two stamps for Japan, please. For letters or postcards? One letter and one postcard. Anything else? No, that's all, thank you. Six. What do we need? We need some milk and some eggs. What about bread? Yes, we need some bread and biscuits. The biscuits are over there on that shelf. Anything else? What about tea? No, we've got tea at home. OK, that's all then. Unit 8. The Golden Globe Magazine. Go, go, go! Rag and Tag. It's Dad's birthday. Let's give him a surprise. I don't think Dad likes surprises. We must make Dad's breakfast. What do we need? Eggs, orange juice, coffee. How about some... Dad likes flowers. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Dad. Look out, Tag. Where did you get those flowers? Well, that was certainly a surprise. Sorry. Action Book Unit 8, Exercise B Ask your class. Listen. What do you like doing? Swimming. Are you good at swimming? Not bad. Action Book Unit 8, Exercise C. Listen. What's Sam? He's a frog. Action Book Unit 8, Exercise D. The dolphins have a secret club. Here are their club rules. 1. Don't talk about the meetings. 2. Keep the club room tidy. 3. Keep the clues secret. 4. Be careful of the sharks. 5. Shut the door. 6. Don't forget the password. Talk about the rules with a friend. Look at rule one. What mustn't they do? They mustn't talk about the meetings. Rule two. What must they do? Unit eight. The Golden Globe magazine. Go, go, go! A letter cassette from America. Hi, my name's Stacy, and I live in an apartment in Los Angeles with my parents and my twin brother, Matt. It was our birthday yesterday, May 22nd, and we had a great party and disco. All our friends came, and we had hamburgers and Coke. Matt and I each had an ice cream cake. Mine had my name on it, and a disco dancer, because I love disco dancing. Matt's cake had a baseball cap with Dodgers on it, because they're his favorite team. Every Saturday, Dad takes us down to Malibu Beach. I roller skate there with my friends, and Matt surfs. It's great fun. Please write back soon. Stacy. Unit 8. The Golden Globe Magazine. Go, go, go! A tongue twister. How fast can you say this? Betty Butter bought some butter. But, she said, this butter's bitter. So she bought some better butter. Now Betty Butter's butter's better. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. So she bought some better butter. Now Betty Butter's butter's better. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. So she bought some better butter. Now Betty Butter's butter's better. Action Book Unit 8 Exercise F Find the Rhymes 
Listen to the words. June. Snow. Head. Shoe. Feet. Ear. Bear. White. Train. Plate. Third. See. Right. Great. Fair. Word. Hear. Clue. Meet. Moon. Go. Bed. Tree. Plain. Listen and check. Were you right? June moon. Snow go. Head bed. Shoe clue. Feet meet. Ear hear. Bear fair. White right. Train plain. Plate great. Third. Word, C tree. Fact file, codes and signs. Listen. The Morse code. Samuel Morse, an American, invented this code. In 1838, he used it to send messages by telegraph. In this code, a dot is a short signal, and a dash is a long signal. You count one for a dot, and three for a dash. You wait and count three between letters, and you count seven between words. You can send messages in Morse code with a pencil on a table, with a whistle, with a torch, or by blinking your eyes. Here is the alphabet in Morse code. Sign language. North American Indians used a sign language because the different groups of Indians had different languages. They all understood sign language. They had hand signs and picture signs. This is some sign language of the Sioux Indians. Today, people who cannot hear and cannot speak use sign language. Here is the finger spelling alphabet. It is similar in all countries of the world. Practice with your friend. How fast can you spell? These are words in sign language. Unit nine, exercise one. Off we go. Listen and look. The dolphins got the next clue from the post office. You must go by bike to the Museum of Travel. You can hire bikes at Jim's Bike Shop. Get the next clue from the souvenir shop. Can I help you? Yes, would like four bikes, please. Four bikes. Try these. This bike's too small. I need a bigger one than this, and my saddle's too low. I'd like a higher one, please. <clears throat> Is that okay? Yes, that's better, thanks. How far is it to the museum? It's nine kilometers. Right, off we go. Too slow. We must go faster. 
Oh, no. What's wrong? I've got a puncture. Well, bad luck. <laughs> See you later. Look, the sharks are in that lorry with their bikes. They're cheating again. Unit 9, Exercise 2. Which is longer? Listen. Look at picture 1. Which is longer? I think X is longer. I think Y is longer. I think they're the same. Unit 9, Exercise 3. What's wrong? Listen and say. Handlebars. Gear. Basket. Pump. Saddle. Wheel. Tire. Puncture. Listen. Can I help you? Yes, please. What's wrong? The saddle is too low. I'd like a higher one than this, please. Action book. Unit 9, Exercise B. Write a rhyme. Listen and check. Mr. Pa goes by car. Miss Fuss goes by bus. Mrs. Wayne goes by train. And Sam and Mike go by bike. Action book. Unit 9, Exercise D. Listen and write. Joe's family has an answering machine for their phone. Write today's messages. Polly, this is Beth. Can you meet me on Thursday? Thursday, uh, now where can we meet? I know, at the new cafe. I'm sure you know the new cafe. Uh, can you meet me at four? No, half past four is better. So can you meet me on Thursday at the new cafe at half past four? OK, see you there. Bye. Oh, it's your answering machine. Well, this is me, Al, and this is a message for Joe. We've got a question for our homework, Joe, and I don't know the answer. This is the question. Which animal is faster, a rabbit or a mouse? I'd better say that again. Which animal is faster, a rabbit or a mouse? Please phone me, OK? That's all. Al. Good morning. This is Kylie Gratch. You spell that K-Y-L-I-E. That's the first name. And the second is G-R-A-T-C-H. Kylie Gratch. And I have a message for Mr. King. Mr. King. The message is, please ring 35079. 35079. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's the answering machine. Oh, dear, I hate these things. Well, it's Grandpa. Grandpa. Now, what did I want? No, oh, dear, I forget. Oh, no, I know. Can you feed the cat? Feed the cat. Can you hear me? Oh, dear. Unit 9, Exercise 4. A rhyme. Listen and say. I can run fast. Just look at me run. But I can run faster than you. Bet you can't. Bet I can. Bet you can't. Bet I can. Bet I can. And just look at me too. Unit 9, Exercise 5. Has Emma got any French stamps? Listen. Has she got any French stamps? Yes, she's got some French ones. How many has she got? Three. 
Has she got any German stamps? No, she hasn't got any German ones. Action book. Unit 9, exercise F. A game. Listen. Where did they go? Did they go to the museum? Yes. How did they go? Did they go by car? Yes. When did they get home? At half past five. No, guess again. Unit 10, Exercise 1, Joe and the Balloon. Listen and look. The dolphins arrived at the museum later than the sharks. A woman gave them a cassette, some questions, and these instructions. The answers to the questions are in the museum and on the cassette. The password is the name of the highest hot air balloon. Take the answers and the passwords to the nearest bank. Joe, you and Al can find the password. Emma can listen to the cassette and I can find the answers in the museum. That's quickest. Balloons are on the third floor. Come on, Joe. Look up there. That's the highest balloon. Oh, but I can't see its name. I I'm going to climb up. <laughs> I think we'd better read about the balloons, Joe. Yes, perhaps that's best. Unit 10, Exercise 2. Which is the highest mountain? Listen. High, higher, highest. Long, longer, longest. Big, bigger. Biggest. Good. Better. Best. Listen. Which is the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest. Unit 10, Exercise 3. World Records. Listen. 1. The biggest pizza was more than 30 metres across. 2. The longest sausage was more than 21 kilometres long. 3. The tallest man in the world was Robert Ludlow, an American. When he was 10, he was 1.96 metres tall. 4. The shortest name of a place is French, the village of E in France. 5. The heaviest animal in the world is the blue whale. In 1947, one blue whale weighed 190 tons. 6. The oldest man lived in Japan. When he died, he was 120 years and 237 days old. 7. The oldest goat lived in New Zealand. When it died, it was 17 years and 8 months old. Listen. How long was the longest sausage? It was 21 kilometres long. Action book. Unit 10, exercise C. A game. Listen. Excuse me, where can I find toys? Toys are on the second floor. Thank you. Action book. Unit 10, Exercise D. Right or wrong? Some people are talking about this picture. Listen and look at the picture. 1. A boy is riding a horse. 2. A man is playing the piano. 3. A small girl is jumping on a table. Four. Her mother is very happy. Five. An old man is looking at some pictures. 
Six. A short woman is talking to a man. Seven. A tall woman is taking a picture from the wall. Eight. The tall woman has got a small bag. Unit ten, exercise four. Song, a best friend. <laughs> Unit ten, exercise five. For you, listen. I fell and broke my leg. Poor you. I've got a headache. What a shame. My bike's got a puncture. Oh dear. Action book. Unit ten. Exercise E. Listen to the dialogue and check your answers. Can I have your ticket, please? Yes. Here you are. Which is your bag? That one over there. How many bags have you got? Two. That one and this black one. What's in that black one? Some books. Open it, please. Whose picture is this? Not mine. Who put it in the bag? Not me. Come with me, please. I'd like to ask you some more questions. Fact file: balloons and ballooning. The Montgolfier brothers built the first hot air balloon in France. The first passengers were a hen, a duck, and a sheep. They went up in a basket on September the nineteenth. Seventeen eighty-three. The balloon flew for about three kilometers. The first men went up on November the twenty-first, seventeen ninety-three. They travelled nine kilometers in twenty-five minutes. An Englishman drew a new balloon in nineteen o nine. It was called the Minerva. It could carry sixty passengers. It had rooms for music, games, and a church. Below the balloon. Were ladders down to a store for food and water, a gymnastics room, and a small hospital. The Minerva never flew. The highest hot air balloon, the Daffodil Two, went up thirteen thousand five hundred and eighty meters on January the twenty fourth, nineteen seventy four. The balloonists were two Englishmen in India. The biggest hot air balloon is the Gerald A. Heineken. It can carry sixty passengers. Hot air balloons fly because hot air is lighter than cold air. The first hot air balloons were open at the bottom, and there was a real fire under them. In 1766, an Englishman, Henry Cavendish, discovered hydrogen gas. 
It is lighter than air, and a balloon full of the gas rises. The first hydrogen balloon went up in 1783. It was the red and gold globe. Today, balloons can tell us about the weather. A small hydrogen balloon rises up in the sky. Under the balloon is a radio and other instruments. It goes up 20 to 30 kilometers. Then the radio and the instruments parachute down to Earth. This is very cheap because people can use them again. Unit 11, Exercise 1. The Sharks Cheat Again. Listen and look. The sharks were in the museum first, but they weren't as clever as the dolphins, so they didn't answer the questions quickly. The dolphins mustn't win, said Tristan angrily. Look, there's one of the dolphins. She's going to the toilets, said Melissa. I've got an idea. Wait here. Melissa followed Beth quietly. Beth went into the toilets and put the answers to the questions under the mirror. Then she went into a toilet. When Beth was in the toilet, Melissa carefully tied the door handles together so Beth couldn't get out. Help! Let me out! Then she took Beth's answers and ran back to the sharks quickly. <sighs> I've got all the answers, she said proudly. Now we're going to win. Joe and Al found the password easily. Emma listened to the cassette carefully and answered the questions. Joe, Al and Emma finished, but they couldn't find Beth. Ha ha, said the sharks. We're going to win! <laughs> Beth ran into the room. Where in the world were you? asked Joe. Have you got the answers? No, said Beth sadly. I had them, but, oh, it's a long story. It wasn't my fault. I can tell you later. I think I can remember the answers. Let me think. The first question was, when was Columbus born? Unit 11, Exercise 2 Famous Explorers. Listen. When was Vasco da Gama born? In 1469. What was his nationality? Portuguese. Where did he go? To India. How did he go? By ship. How long did the journey take? Two years. Unit 11, Exercise 3. I sailed with Columbus. Listen. Columbus was born in Italy in about 1451. In 1492, he sailed from Spain to America on the Santa Maria. Diego was the ship's boy. Here is his story. I was 11 years old when I sailed with Columbus. He had three ships. I was on his ship, the Santa Maria. It was bigger than the Niña, or the Pinta, but it was the slowest. We worked hard, and at night we were always tired. We slept in hammocks. We ate salt meat and biscuits. Sometimes we fished. We didn't have a lot of water, so we were often thirsty. On the eleventh day, we saw a big white bird it was as big as an eagle. We thought we were near land, but we weren't. It was a very long journey. On the 34th day, we were very afraid, and we wanted to go back to Spain, but Columbus said no. On the 36th night, I was with my friend Juan. There was a moon and a lot of stars. Suddenly, we saw land. We ran quickly and told Columbus. The next day, we landed on an island. There were a lot of Indians on it. They gave us water and fruit. Columbus gave them knives, beads, and rings.
Action Book. Unit 11, Exercise D. Listen and find the sounds. Listen and repeat the sound of the letter O in these words. 1. Nose. Dog. How do you say these words? Listen and write them in the boxes with the same sound. Come. Close. Frog. Love. Cold. Monkey. Sock. Orange. Brother. Open. Home. Box. Now listen and check. One. One. Come. Love. Monkey. Brother. Two. Nose. Close. Cold. Open. Home. Three. Dog. Frog. Sock. Orange. Box. Unit 11, Exercise 4. A rhyme. Listen and say. As pretty as a picture, as quiet as a mouse, as strong as a horse, as big as a house, as old as the hills, as hard as stone, as good as gold, as dry as a bone, as black as night, as white as milk, as cold as ice, as soft as silk. Action Book Unit 11, Exercise G Answer the questions. Listen to Diego's story. Tick the answers. Let me tell you what happened that Christmas. We were near a beautiful island. It was very big, with mountains and rivers. There were lots of birds in the trees. I found a red and grey parrot and took it back to the ship. I gave it to my friend Juan. One day, an Indian chief came to the ship. He was very friendly, and he gave Columbus some gold. So Columbus gave him some red shoes and some beads. He was very happy and went away. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was a beautiful night. Columbus was tired and went to bed. Juan steered the ship. I wanted to steer too. There was a moon and the weather was good. It wasn't windy, so I steered. But then something terrible happened. It was 12 o'clock midnight. The ship stopped. We were on the rocks. Columbus woke up. What's that boy doing? And yes, the ship sank. Our Santa Maria sank. The Indian chief came with canoes and helped us, so we were all safe. But it was the end of the Santa Maria, and it was my fault, all my fault. That was the worst day of my life. That was a true story about Columbus. Unit 11, Exercise 5, A Game. Listen. I'm thinking of a word. Walk like the word. Eat like the word. Is the word sadly? Yes, your turn. End of side one.